on on why are famous youtubers quitting youtube right left in the last 6 months 3 months one year i can give so many examples but you might have also seen these videos you know why why people are not interested in making videos people who have you know 10000 100000 1 million like you know 10 million subscribers you know from all genres you know photography creativity arts cooking whatever you know you will see youtubers will be there for you know 3 4 5 years and then gradually they will do why is this happening this is very important because this is not just because of some youtube you know there are some fundamental problems because of which this happens and this can happen in any area of life in any domain not just youtube it can happen in your career or marriage or you know with with anything okay so therefore today we'll discuss 10 reasons why big youtubers are quitting and why this quitting will continue all right number 1 this is very 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 important it's the celebrity illusion and arrogance which is born out of this now what is celebrity uh, illusion it's like when you when you have suddenly when you you know get get like 5 10 50 000 followers you start to forget that you are also just a normal person right you start to feel that oh no actually now i am a celebrity now now i don't need anybody you know who are you you know <laughs> even if you unsubscribe to me you know, nothing will happen you know i have you know 1 million followers you know what does one one person unsubscribing what will you do but what you forget as a youtuber is as they say na boon boon se sagar banta hai every drop is important in the ocean right so if you are behaving very arrogantly and you start to think you are like a devata or somebody you know or you are like a or you are like god that you should be worship <laughs> then then this is problematic then what happens is you will start taking youtube and also people cheaply you will start taking your family members or other people cheaply your subscribers your clients your business partners other youtubers everybody and then you will fall down one day all right because as the bible says pride cometh before the fall i guess so don't become arrogant the best solution is even if you have like you know 10 million uh, followers you need to understand that you are just a normal human being and the goal of human life is not to gain followers it is to cultivate spiritual wisdom and go to god ultimately all right so be spiritual and keep yourself grounded and always associate with people who are more superior to you in knowledge only then you will be humble otherwise uh, pride will get into your heads okay <laughs> now number 2 you started off with something okay so you were passionate you were interested to share something and you started some hobby skill whatever or you just like to talk but now what you are doing is instead of being that original you you are just running behind name and fame which means suppose you are interested in a particular topic now you are not putting videos uh, related to that topic anymore but you are putting videos which give you more views more name fame power uh, position and all this you know so because of that what happens the original you is dead okay and so if you are not there so who's there in youtube right <laughs> so therefore <clears throat> it's not wrong to make videos which give you you know more viewership nothing wrong with it but if you only make those videos which give you like name and fame and if you don't make those videos which you like to make just because they don't give you much viewership then well uh, there is there's a big crisis there okay so let me give an example in my channel like <clears throat> two days back i made this video or uh, not two days i think three three days back uh mars jupiter rahu transit okay so within one day it got some 17 18000 views okay but if you see 4 5 days one week back i made one video vishnu sasana how much views did it get hardly 2 3000 right but i i did not think before making that video and i already know that people will not watch that video but i still make it <laughs> i still made it because that is something which i am really interested to talk about it does not matter for me if one person sees that video or you know 500 people or 50000 people okay because these are evergreen timeless videos whoever 
in some part of their life, in some time of their life, you know, wants to read the Vishnu Sasanam or they are not inspired to read it, then if they see that video after 100 years when I am not there in this world, when none of you watching this video now, you are also not there, then still that person will be benefited compared to that, you know, transit video which gave like 18, 20,000 views in one day. Okay, that that's over. After the transit is over, that's gone, right? <coughs> Number three, this is very important. You do not take a break when required. Okay, very, very, very important. You should take a break when life is demanding other things from you. Because depending on your horoscope, your dashas and your destiny transits, and all, you might need to focus on some other areas. Like for example, if you think you are doing YouTube too much and your mental health is, you know, dragging, it's going downhill, then you should take a break. And you should not, just you know keep pumping videos all the time or maybe you know there is some other area of life which needs some attention like you know you you get married or you have children or your parents health is suffering or you know there is some other crisis you know? and then you don't attend to that you just keep doing the same thing then what happens is there is eventual burnout and when there is such a such a burnout that you don't want to make videos anymore Okay, so therefore, whenever there is a major incident in your life, like, you know, especially marriage or childbirth or parents' health, you should take some time off. Nobody is going anywhere. Okay, and if people unsubscribe you just because you are not making follow uh, videos, that means they were never your well-wishers, right? So therefore, don't be fearful because, oh, what will happen? You know, everybody will unsubscribe me. I'll go back to zero. No, it won't happen like that. Those people who genuinely want to watch your content, of course, they may unsubscribe for some time, but if you come back, they will again subscribe. Okay, so you don't have to think, you know, oh, it's over for me. All right, so take the time off if required. <clears throat> Number four, this is very important. You do not have a life outside of YouTube. All right, YouTube has become your life. Life and soul. <laughs> Now from morning till night, only thing you are doing is YouTube, 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 tube you. <laughs> right, so from YouTube, it has become tube you now, right? YouTube is tubing you right, left. <laughs> so have good relationship with your family members, with your spouse, with your children, parents, friends, somebody at least. Okay, you don't have to have relationship with everybody. Have a social circle, meet other YouTubers, online, offline, you know, focus on your career unless if unless this is not your career. You know, you know, focus on socializing, focus on your spiritual life, focus on your mental health, focus on your physical health. Be an overall grounded person and then make YouTube a part of your life. It can be the most important part of your life. That's not wrong. Nothing, no problems with that. But it cannot be the only thing in your life. And this, as I said, is applicable to everything else also. Okay, if you love somebody and you make that person the center of your life and you forget everything, hmm, the rest is history, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Number five, this is very important. You do not upgrade yourself with time. So, for example, suppose you have some knowledge, you have some skill, you have some, you have a call within you, calling within you to, you know, speak certain things. So, now what happens? You are going on speaking the same thing, you know, you, you like a four years back what you are speaking, now the same thing you are speaking. There is no upgradation because people can feel it when uh, you are also upgrading as a YouTuber. When your content is leveling up, okay, people can feel it. The viewers, subscribers, your well-wishers can feel it. So the moment they see that you are not upgrading, then they will realize that you are not growing as an individual. So you have nothing new to contribute. Okay, and because of that, what happens is you... People are not interested to hear from you again, okay? And they feel, uh, yeah, it's the same, okay? Now, it's not wrong to be the original you, but you have to upgrade, okay? So, for example, if you are if you are talking about astrology, for example, then initially you may talk about astrology, but then maybe you can also try speaking about, you know, your experiences with clients and consultations and, you know, you can enter different areas, you know, like, uh, you you can make some, you know, predictions about, you know, mundane astrology, about the world in general, some events, you know. So, I'm just giving an example, 
okay because the more you upgrade the more people will realize that you are still a very valuable asset and then people will stay with you okay or else uh, they won't <clears throat> number six you are not trying anything different this is same with not upgrading but in the sense you know there are different things which you can do and try but what happened is suppose you were running a very good dasha four years back and you, you were doing that when the dashas are good whatever you speak it goes viral okay but now you, your dasha has changed and now you are not doing anything different like so many youtubers i know they were in youtube and you know then somehow their long videos started the viewership started going down so they went to instagram and now they upload videos there and they are doing very good there no or <clears throat> they are having a astrology community outside you know and you know they have clients they have seminars webinars so they are doing great there okay but you are stuck there you, you are at the same place okay so because of that what happens is uh, people lose interest because in kali yuga attention is very rare okay so if you are stuck doing the same thing or even if you are upgrading but you are not trying out different things people will get bored because they can't follow you for the rest of your life if you just do the same thing right <clears throat> number 7 you are trying to expand hire one assistant hire this hire that 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 you have a team now and now what happen guess what when you have a team you have to pay salaries right so then you your creativity is lost because now again going back to point number 2 now you will only make videos which give you more views because that will earn give you more ad ad revenue that will give you more business if you have a product or services you know and then you can pay salary to the your uh, assistants right your employees so because of that what happens is the original you is lost all right so expansion is not a problem but over expansion is not recommended and here i would personally recommend you if you are planning to expand try using technology first like for example you might have seen from last 7 to 10 days the audio in my videos is except exponentially better much better at least okay two three times better why this is because i upload i record the video then i put it into adobe podcast okay now and then i download it back and then i upload it rather than directly uploading so now that adobe podcast costs me around 9 or 10 10 euros a month which is in indian currency around 8 900 rupees so approximately 1000 rupees which is not a big deal right but now suppose if i would hire a assistant to you know oh, do this audio that audio you know how much how much would i have to pay that person right May, much more than 1000 rupees much more than 10 dollars right maybe 10 times more than that but now i can do the same thing using technology okay so therefore use technology and try to minimize the number of people that you hire otherwise you you will get lost in expansion okay now of course this is not uh this is not to discourage you from hiring others but be very careful when you hire okay if you if you earn like 1 crore rupees i would suggest you monthly uh yearly if you are earning 1 crore don't hire somebody who you have to pay more than 10 15% that's very dangerous so suppose you you earn like the 50 50 lakhs a year from youtube and then you are hiring you know somebody who you need to pay like 20 30 lakhs that's it gone okay you will fall eventually number 8 over monetization and over marketing you know you are all over the place you are giving ads you are doing this you are doing that and you know you have turned it into a completely commercial thing now again as i said it's not wrong to earn money from it unless you are doing uh, it illegally or you know by doing something wrong uh, that, that's perfectly fine you you earn whatever you become a millionaire through youtube so many people have become multi millionaires and maybe billionaires also just through youtube right nothing wrong but when money is the only motivation that you have then what happens again rule number 2 you will get lost you will upload videos which give you more views you know then you will go into drama nonsense this that you know yeah but you you will be lost okay so therefore over expansion and over marketing over monetization this is not the best do it but do it gradually okay and whenever you feel that 
I am hiring 10 people, but now I am feeling a bit strained. Then maybe you should not hire more. Okay, very important. Number nine, this is new actually. Okay, this I am seeing more and more. You are messing around with other YouTubers. Like we see the uh, famous example of Sandeep Maheshwari ji and Dr. Vivek Bindra. Okay, what happened? Sandeep Maheshwari, he you know, did something against Vivek Bindra and Vivek Bindra then did some. So now when this nonsense is uh, went, what happened? Both of their viewership is down. You go to their channels, you see their views. I mean, it's very bad. Okay. I mean, and people want masala, spice. So they will discuss about it, you know, three months, six months, and then the people will forget about it. Now, now if you ask somebody who who, who remembers, who cares at all, right? What Vivek Bindra says, what Sandeep Maheshwari says, no, nobody gives a damn. Okay. But what is happening is when you mess around unnecessarily, then yeah, you 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 are like losing it. Okay, now of course I'm I'm not saying that uh, Vivek Bindra is right or Sandeep Maheshwari is wrong. I'm not saying all this, but of course if somebody is doing nonsense against you, then you might have to take legal action. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, but that should not become your uh, fundamental focus. Or you as an YouTuber, you may you may protect yourself. You may go and defend yourself if somebody tries to attack you or spread false news about you. That's fine. But you should not go and, you know, outwardly go on, you know, like... <laughs> That's not your job, all right? Of course, if some YouTuber has spread some fake news, false news, you can say in general that these things are going on in society and this is not good. Be aware of it. Nothing wrong with it. But you should not go and, you know, attack personally and do all this. Even if you do, it should be extremely rare and, you know, you should do it in a way that the issue is solved rather than, you know, attacking a YouTuber. Because imagine two YouTubers with, you know, one YouTuber has 20 million and I think Sandeep Maheshwari has around 28 or whatever, 29 million. Imagine they are, they are fighting, then what happens, right? All hell broken loose, right? Last but not the least, you are diversifying too much. You are experimenting too much. Okay, so for example, I know people who have a particular channel and then what happens? They are bored now. They want to explore something else, which is again, not wrong. But now they are like making videos only on other topics. Then the existing audience will feel what the heck is going on. So in my opinion, this is again my opinion, you don't have to take it. You can leave it if you want. In my opinion, at least 70 to 80 percent of your regular videos should be based on your niche. And then 10, 20 percent you can experiment or maybe at max 30 percent. So, for example, in a month you upload 10 videos. So, you have a channel on finance. So, 7 to 8 videos should be on finance. Then 2 or 3 videos can be on, you know, spirituality, astrology or, you know, politics or makeup, whatever. Okay. So, that is how you should approach. Otherwise, you know, uh, people will think, oh, this channel is not serving the purpose anymore. So I will not be there with this channel. All right. So thank you so much for your patience. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is wanting to start off in YouTube or is thinking to quit. All right. Thank you so much. Please take care. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure.